All right, so today I'm gonna to be crushing some stones here in my uh, jaw crusher. So I have two places I'm pulling rocks from right now, and I wanna kinda of see if some crush easier than others. You can see the material here that I'm pulling out. It's kind of like this light, um, almost brownish color. And some of the stones in here are like this pinkish kind of red. So this is totally different than the other spot I've been pulling rocks from, which I'll show you here um, as we drive back through the woods. So this right here is the second spot where I've been pulling rocks from and fill. Um, it's probably kind of hard to tell, but this is a lot more grayish, you know, kind of clay-like. My jaw crusher with the tractor has problems crushing these rocks, which I'm not saying the other rocks are going to be any softer, but I just kind of wanted to see if there was any difference. But I have rocks from here um, down by the rock crusher already. All right, so these rocks right here are that uh, second spot I showed you. The big hillside there that I dug out. And a lot of these rocks you can tell have kind of a bluish tinge to them. You can see like on that face right there. You know, they're a lot darker blue. And the finds in that were all, you know, almost clay-like. And then these rocks right here, you know, had the almost like a yellowish base. And this one's almost got like some pink to it too. So, uh, I'll fire up the jaw crusher here. Get the dog out from underneath there. See if I can get that to spin over. I haven't run it quite a while, but uh, see if we can crush some of these rocks. Try these uh, bluish colored rocks first. See how that bluish colored rock kind of uh, slowed it down. I'm gonna try these uh, yellow colored ones now. So I think that these uh, kind of yellowish colored rocks, pinkish, did crush maybe a little bit better. I don't know if you could tell, but when it tries to crush these blue ones, it really uh, works pretty hard on some of those really round ones. But it did crush them pretty well. Uh, the only problem was my wedges kind of fell out of the bottom. Well, my wedges here fell out of the bottom of my uh, jaw gap here, so that's why I had such big pieces there. I really need these in here to make this gap smaller, 
so it makes smaller material. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but that gap's as small as it'll be, and that's about three inches, so that's why it's making pieces like this size, and I want them a lot smaller than that. I don't really have a good way to have these wedges stay in there. I really need to weld them on there, but I can't. So I'll have to think about what I want to do with these in the future. I don't know, it always feels like I'm trying to do something to this and it's not working out quite the way I thought it was. Especially with the amount of time I've been fighting with this. Uh, I probably just could have had a crush, bunch of crushed stone delivered. <laughs> but that'll be a project, I guess, for another day.